is up guys, Shindoro here and today we've got a very special video today. This one hopefully will improve all of you in the neutral game and footsie game. I'm going to give a big shout out to a guy named TV Guitaro. If you're watching this man, thank you a lot for teaching me this and I'm glad that I can share your experience with all my viewers here. So hopefully you will improve as well from what I'm going to show you. This one is called, I'm going to call this footsie setups. And you all know what footsies are, it's playing normals in the neutral game with punishing and stuff. But now you're like, what? Footsie setups? Well, basically what I mean with this is you do a strings of normals and those specific normals always give you pushback. So imagine your opponent, in this case, our friend Ryu here is doing crouching medium punch. So there is a way to punish this and what I like to use if they do crouching medium punch if you want to go for the most optimal whiff punishes you go crouching light kick into crouching jab you do a small walk back and you whiff punish with crouching heavy punch into for example EX fireball or Tatsu so there we go now what I just did here is, the, because of the crouching light kick and the crouching light punch and the small walk back gives you the amount of pushback needed to whiff punish that crouching medium punch without you being in danger of getting hit. Now, of course, there's always other normals that people will use. For example, we've got, here we got the sweep. Now, before I'm gonna show you the sweep, I need to show you the crouching medium kick first because then you'll understand now it's also very important because foot training setup uh, footsies against the npc dummy is hard because you can't put the option like mm, for example if you want to do a string two lights into a medium punch the bot will always press a button between the lights and the medium punch because there's a there's a gap so that's the annoying part now so what do you want to do if you if you want to do the string what I do is I put, I go down back with the dummy for about a second and a half and then I input the medium punch because that's the amount of time it takes to block the string, sort of. So I do one second and a half walk back and then I do crouching medium kick. But I needed to press start early. There we go. So now that you've done that, put this on and as you can see now he will do Crouching medium kick. So, what we're going to do now is crouching light kick into crouching jab, that stays the same, and you add your own crouching medium kick. And then you will be in range of punishing with sweep, but your opponent will get hit, uh, but you won't get hit by the opponent's crouching medium kick. There you go. Good. See? And you can really train this on reaction. Like, I'm not looking at the time, I'm trying to just look at a reuse normal and I will punish it. Now, of course, your opponent is going to be like, damn, he is punishing my crouch, he is with punishing my crouching medium kick. So that means he's standing out of my range of crouching medium kick. So your opponent is, of course, going to use a sweep, for example. Because if your opponent sees that you're looking to whiff punish normals or light attacks, of course he's going to go for the furthest re reaching normal, which is in most cases heavy heavy kicks and stuff. Or in Kami's case, for example, standing medium kick. Now, now we're going to put the dummy on sweep, as you can see here. So what we do now is we do crouching light kick into crouching jab, into crouching medium punch, and you do a small walk back. Also, very important, please pay attention to this if you want to do this setup. It is important that you stand, and I will show you why. Oh, let's wait until he goes into block animation. See, you get hit. Now, if I stand, I don't get hit. So, it's important that you stand. And then you can just whip punish it. 
Sí. ¿Sí? No. <coughs> of course, this is usually... How do you figure out what button your opponent is going to press in a block string without taking a lot of risks? Well, for example, we're gonna put the opponent on crouching medium kick again because sweep is really unsafe and not a lot of people will do that if they don't know who they're up against. So you go for crouching light kick into crouching jab and you just sit there. And then you can see what kind of button you use. Ah, he's pressing a medium kick, so the next time we're going to throw this. And we punish it. And if he keeps doing it, then that's fine by us, right? Because we get the free sweep every time and the free pressure. So, of course, your opponent is going to adapt. And then, for example, he's going to. Mm, well. Let's say he's going for a standing medium, a standing medium punch. There we go, standing medium punch. Now this one is a bit harder to to punish, just because, like I said, the bot is doing this on the same time. He's not actually answering on your strings. He's just doing this on a random time. So you gotta try and. Just is, is just to get the idea that it works. So now he will do it on around 1.8 seconds. So if you want to punish the medium punch, it's the same way as the crouching medium punch. You just go crouching light, you get the crouching jab, do a small tap back, and then you can punish it with your own standing medium punch, for example. Something like that, for example. Of course, you don't even need to do the V trigger, but hey, it's just for an example. Now, of course, you can use this for any character against any character. So this is great and th this can make you spend hours in training room. What kind of strings should I do against which kind of characters? What kind of buttons? How, how much distance do their buttons have? And that is the beauty of this training stage. And now I will show you some different examples. What kind of a bastard would I be if I wouldn't include our beloved waifu carry. So, in this matchup we have Guile here and he's abusing his crouching medium kick because it's a very good normal for Guile. So, in this case, for example, I used standing light kick into crouching medium punch into standing medium punch, small walk back, and you can punish with crouching medium kick into, for example, EX Tenko or whatever. So, There we go, small example. And this this is just something I figured out before I wanted to make this clip in about five seconds. So it's easy doable. In this small example, I am using Alex and his abusing crouching medium punch, because you all know Alex is like to do crouching medium punch. So here's a small example with Ryu. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video or found it helpful? Leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks a ton for watching guys and I will see you again next time.